Hello, this is channel Siri Bytes. In this AWS series, uh, I'm just trying to show you in this video how I am you have how I am displaying a sample index.html. Okay, so in here, if you on the page, you can see that a EC2 instance was already running using this simple setup what I did so to display that index.html web page okay so I already connected to EC2 instance using party okay and uh, okay so if I Okay, I already had the complete setup has been done. So I'm going to explain step by step what I did. Okay. So if you take a look in here, there is a HTML directory that's been created and that is owned by EC2 user and that is EC2 user belongs to Apache group. And the permissions for the group is RWX, I mean RWS and uh, RWX for EC2 user, and the others only read and execute, okay, for this directory. Um, in the same way, if I say lsla slash var slash HTML, uh, what do I have in it? This is the index.html page okay so uh, for that index.html page if you take a look here it's only read and write for the user read and write for the group and only read for the for others okay so index.html page you want to give the read and write permissions for the user and for the group but for others nobody you don't like anybody else um, from outside to change that index.html page. That's why we change the permissions for others to only to read, but the permissions for EC2 user and the Apache group as read and write. Okay. So if I cat this. So index.html, this is a sample page that I created, okay, and uh, the sample, that is what I'm going to show you how I displayed this page, okay. So uh, let me show you what I did, okay. Most of the times, whenever you're creating a EC2 instance, the user it, it I mean yeah, in the in the EC2 creation setup itself you will you will select AMI Amazon machine image in that Amazon machine image most of the times um, in the user data section um, you can run you can give some commands and those commands will be executed after the EC2 instance has been created and it will be ready so in those most of the times in the user data um, uh, some of the uh, initial st setup will be done like for example um, the Apple packages um, uh, uh, the Apple packages extra packages enterprise Linux that's what it called as so uh, sometimes if the AMI whatever you, you are using might not have that Apple packages installed okay um, I mean will not have provision to uh, for that Apple packages to get installed in that case in the user data section if you give the app if you give some commands to execute 
um, the, uh, and run the commands such that those Apple packages will be installed on the EC2 instance. Um, so that's what most of the times you have to do. Okay. And what I did is I installed, I updated the yum by running this command and I did not run this command. I just want to show it to you, but you can do this. So all this command will do is Linux extras. Okay. And it is installing MariaDB as well as PHP. Okay. And so now, because I want to display a index.html page, I need a web server. So for this, I'm installing the web server by running this command. Okay. After this is all I did in my um, after connect after connecting to my EC2 instance in my account, these are all the instructions I did. Okay, so I installed this. Okay, and the next one I say, okay, start that web server by running this command, and I said, okay, whenever you are booting, please enable the server too by running this command and the next thing as I said okay what I have to do you know I showed you before that the, once you install the HTTP the www directory will be installed and once it was there you need to make sure the ownership and permissions of the directory is right so what I have to do is I created the Apache group okay so sudo user mod slash a as g apache user group i did created it and assigned this user to this group okay next thing i did is okay made sure that the group if i execute this command all the groups will be displayed and make sure the apache group is there and change the ownership of this directory if you don't change it this directory is owned by root right so to change the directory and its contents to the apache group that's what i'm doing okay so sudo change ownership recursively okay change this directory group ownership to Apache that's what I'm saying and next change the group directory permissions of var slash www and its subdirectories to add group write permissions and set the group ID on subdirectories created in the future so change mod the first two is the group ID and the first seven is seven for user read write execute seven the next seven for the group read write execute and the all others just read i mean um, read and execute okay so they can see it but from next time whatever type d is was created under this path so execute this command and make sure that all is having 2775 that's what you're saying recursively change the permissions for files in the var slash ww directory and the subdirectories to add group write permissions so the files now you added the permissions for directories but what about the files the files should have okay read and read and write for the group read and write for the i mean for the user read and write for the group but the other means any outside person cannot just can read and cannot but cannot be executed for example the file is index.html right do you want uh, anybody coming to you do you want anybody changing that html no 
That's the reason we are saying, okay, only four. Just read, but do not read our read. I mean, just read, no write and execute. Okay, that's what we are saying. So, if you take a look here, um, most of the times, okay. See here, RWX, RWS, RW, RWS is there and R hyphen X is there. So RWS is what it is for the group, right? So what does that mean, RWS, okay? RWS is most often this is given to few programs owned by the super user, okay? Means um, you can make sure that, okay, whatever permissions is needed by is given for the super users so please give to this you this uh, group too that's what you're saying but you should you should be more careful uh, while doing that okay and uh, this is the dns host name it's already been given uh, by the ec2 while you know creating i said okay enable dns host name so that's what it gave this um, this is the DNS host name and let me see, let me copy this, okay, yay, it is there, it is already given, okay, it's, it's ready, so as I showed you before, this is the index.html page, right? So if you look at here, the word is already displayed. Okay? So it's pretty much simple. I just want to give you an idea. So most of the times, uh, if you're having a RHEL, the subscription manager if you enable it, it will take care of most of the packages, um, I mean, most of the reports. It will take care of by keeping a check on them. And, and uh, you can install the Apple packages by using this command, okay? But in the real world, is that simple? No, it is not. So what most of the times it will have, okay? A file system is attached, okay? So that file system will have all the necessary files Okay, necessary files for the entire package means necessary files means the entire package that the website is needed. Okay, so So that's what most of the times it is done. Okay. So, but do I have? But to show you that I need to completely go a different route and show you all that process. So, as for now, uh, I am. I'm, I'm, I just will say okay. I gave you a basic idea. So work on your own. 
okay so see you in the next video so in the next video what I will do is um, I will create a one more public um, EC2 instance um, and in the same instance I will have a, a default default setup to display a index index dot html and for these two now I already showed you that I had a sample index.html for a EC2 instance that is already running in public subnet 1. So in the public subnet 2 I will create a one more EC2 instance and for that instance I will allow only the HTTP traffic and for that traffic um, for that setup I'm going to give a index.html and and I'll connect these both uh, for a load balancer okay um, and basically okay this is just a simple setup just I want to show you this can be done okay all right see you in the next video this is Siri Bytes